Next is the story of a rug, a rug that had roots in the controversial killings of Armenians back in 1915. Details on this from Future TV in Lebanon. When this picture was taken in December 1925, the main feature was not U.S. President Calvo Coolidge on the left-hand side, but the carpet these officials were showing off. What makes this rug special? The 4 by 6 meter rug had just crossed two oceans, arriving from a tiny Lebanese village, where it was hand-woven by Armenian orphans as a token of gratitude to the U.S. The 1915 Armenian genocide cost more than a million lives and a mass exodus to surrounding countries, notably Syria and Lebanon. Among the thousands of Armenians that settled in Lebanon were some 132,000 orphans. This was the first home to 1,400 Armenian orphans. But this orphanage, one of many funded by the U.S.'s Near East Relief, later moved to the mountainous village of Razir, north of the capital. According to Misa Kalejan, a researcher of Armenian history, the U.S. government had provided 91 million U.S. dollars in donations and about 25 million dollars worth of food supplies for all the Armenian orphans in Lebanon. In 1925, the orphanage received enough money by the Near East Relief to purchase four weaving machines. In less than 10 years, the girls at the Razir Orphanage wove 3,240 rugs, but the largest by far was the one which made its way to the White House. It was taken from a German museum in Dresden, and it was copied from there. But the idea is there are 144 animals on that carpet. The idea is because uh, where Armenia and Mount Ararat and Van is what you call is where Garden of Eden was, according to Bible. Every first Sunday of December, the Near East Relief Association organized what was dubbed as Golden Rule Day, dedicated to raising donations. It is exactly here that this picture was taken over six decades ago. Donations helped thousands of orphans become the pillar of the Armenian community in Lebanon, allowing Razir to blossom into an integral part of the country's Armenian heritage. Sara Khouri, Future Television, Razir.